And here is a VLM carpet cleaning that we're doing with the Bissell Low Boy and the Betco Green Earth for the pre-spray. And right off the bat, um, this carpet has tons of bleach spots and spills and that damage is irreversible. Uh, I made that clear to the client and they still wanted the carpets clean. They're going to keep them a while longer. Uh, so uh, that yellowing, those yellowing spots, you're going to see them throughout the video. And as I mentioned, that's irreversible, nothing we can do. But there's a lot of organic spots and soil and a lot of uh, cat hair embedded in the carpet. And we're going to get that out. This is going to be a six-step process. Um, we are going to do a post-vacuuming. Um, because when we did use the uh, low boy, we did pull out a lot of hair uh, from the carpet. So we're gonna we're gonna post vacuum that. Uh, so there's there's a six step process that we're using, uh, and um, it does a phenomenal job. These carpets would look almost new if it wasn't for those bleach spots um, throughout the home. Um, this home is. Uh, six areas I believe could be seven um but uh we uh using the microfiber blue pad and the great thing with this machine here is uh you know we're getting agitation and absorption all in one and that's always a great thing to to be able to uh knock those two things out with uh with one procedure and this is uh kind of a return video that i made uh i've been out uh for about a month um we've been super 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 busy uh we've had tons of pressure washing jobs and carpet cleaning i did a hood cleaning the other day commercial hood cleaning uh, just loads of pressure washing. You know, I only do pressure washing uh, from from May to uh, to October. I don't, that's I don't do it any other time of the year. I like to do it when there's light, uh, daylight, and I I just I'm not into doing all that. You know, <clears throat> all the uh, 100 150 dollar you know jobs. I, I I pick and choose my pressure washing jobs. So. Uh, we did a lot of those. I didn't film them, but I might film some upcoming ones if I have time. And uh, as I mentioned, we use the Bedco Green Earth. Uh, I use this one uh, at 10 ounces per gallon. Uh, nothing else. Um, I was going to uh, pre-treat some spots, but I went ahead and and did not do that. Uh, because I wanted to see how the product worked with some of these heavily, heavily uh, soiled areas. Uh, I don't know how it comes out on video. Uh, it might, it might look. Uh, you might not be able to tell that there, there's a bunch of spots everywhere. I'm not sure. Uh, when I'm watching this on my camera, it's hard to tell uh, what's going on. Uh, there is an overcast outside. Uh, these carpets are like a weird light blue or gray. I can't really distinguish what color it is exactly, but but uh you know the lighting in the home seems to be bad, but we'll see when we see it on the big screen how 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 it looks. But but anyways, we're doing this job here. Um, this is a referral job. Uh, we um, uh, work for this client for a long time. Well, actually, we work for this is the parents of a client that we're working for. And uh, we've done so many jobs for this particular client. And uh, so we're now in the home of their parents. And and uh, the job is going smoothly. This, this again, this low boy is just one pass and it just eats away the stains. Uh, I was thinking about bringing the rotary, but honestly... Like, for a carpet like this, the rotary would have taken me much longer. Uh, it would have been more labor. Uh, to just 
the, and no offense to, I use the rotary quite a bit lately, but, uh, if I'm doing a really bad carpet or, you know, I just want to get that, you know, maximum cleaning because there's a lot of spots, I'm going to go with the orbital. Uh, the rotary just takes a little too long, but I know the rotary has its place. So, and that's just my belief. Uh, but on this job, I feel that the large orbital uh, would be a better fit for this job uh, than a rotary. Rotary, I just think, would have taken too long. And, and I, I like the rotary. I mean, uh, but, but, but you just can't, you just can't match the power of an orbital machine, in my opinion. And this is a, a, a wheels up machine, so you don't have uh, the leverage of the wheels down machine. We're getting all, you know, 100% of uh, head weight plus the orbital action onto the uh, carpet fibers. And that, that seems to be uh, an unmatched uh, tool, so to speak. I, I, uh, uh, I, I, you know, I, I like the Auric, and uh, I, if I had a Challenger, I would like that too. And, and this is just a little bit bigger version of those machines. Um, but we're making easy work, and I get under that, that, uh, that, uh, table right there i didn't think i was gonna be able to make it under there but i carefully got under there and i did have to bring the auric in uh some of these areas to get underneath tables and in corners that that i could not get with this machine so the auric was there um but this was a rather large area and um i just felt that the the bigger machine would just be better and we did do a post vacuum. The carpet's dried pretty quick, and you can see right here, uh, you know, it was very soiled uh, earlier, and here it is. Uh, I vacuumed that area right there, and it, it looks really phenomenal. Uh, very hypoallergenic uh, form of cleaning. Um, carpets will be dry in about an hour. Actually, they were dry by the, pretty dry by the time I started post vacuuming. So. Um, the client was, uh, or or the customer was very happy, and um, you could see the bleach spots again. Uh, you know they're going to keep their carpet a bit longer, so they understood that there's nothing I can do about those spots. Um, uh, they were asking about a dye process. Uh, you know there was such extensive amount of bleach. Uh, if they were to have somebody dye it, uh, it just wouldn't even be, I don't even think uh, it would be worth it. Um, but uh, this is the bedroom. I didn't cover the bedrooms. I didn't cover the bedrooms uh, in the video, but they came out great. Uh, everything came out nice. And uh, again, the Bedco Green Earth, I didn't have to spike it. I didn't have to pre-treat spots. I let the Betco Green Earth dwell, and it did a fantastic job. Uh, you can get it on Amazon. Uh, you can go to Joe Wheeler's link if you're interested, and you can get it from him. Uh, and I uh, appreciate y'all watching, and take care.